what is porting in software engineering we are talking about software so software engineering porting is the process of adapting software so that an executable program can be created for that computing environment that is different from the one for which it was originally designed for example different cpu operating system or third party library the term is also used when software hardware is changed to make them usable in different environments so software is portable when the cost of porting it uh, to a new platform is significantly less than the cost of writing it from scratch the lower the cost of porting software related to its implementation cost the more portable it is said to be so the portability is is high level computer programming in uh, this uh, aspect is the usability of same software in different environments so the pre requirement for portability is the generalized abstraction between the application logic and system interfaces and the software with same functionality is produced for several computing platform portability is the key issue for development cost reduction porting is the process of adapting software in an environment for which it was not originally written or intended to be executed in and the term is used interchangeably when referring to the changes made to a hardware when it has to be made compatible with other requirements techopedia explains porting like this software is uh, considered portable when the cost of porting it to a new environment or platform is reasonably less than writing the software from the scratch so software developers they often claim their product is portable implying that it will take little effort for it to work on a consumer's platform the three preferred uh, platform are microsoft apple unix and you know to a greater extent the linux making it easier to develop software that is portable still in the embedded system market porting remains a significant issue to simplify portability modern compiler translate to a machine independent intermediate code so porting is also used to refer to the process of converting a computer game say to be uh, platform independent so this workflow of porting is like this during porting of a legacy software application we usually follow certain workflow first is the installation in some cases installation of software application is a sophisticated task or installation guide say it is missing so in this case customer specialist may visit us to uh, install the product or a specialist may be trained on show then training very often user guide does not describe knowledge domain or it can be just for you know help afterwards or simply it is missing so complicated cases also need direct contact with the customer or on show training then analysis selection of technology that is next we analyze as existing software application and customer requirement on expanding of functionality we select new technologies to be used during implementation of the new version of the software and then finally the estimation and planning project specification is, is developed work time is estimated and it is planned then design new version of software is designed according to the specification then reengineering in some cases it is uh, necessary to reengineer existing uh, system uh, in parts for example to find uh, such components of the existing system that cannot be modified during porting for instance uh, say database that is used by other systems cannot be redesigned then implementation at this stage new version of the software is implemented according to the selected technology and project specification and testing this stage usually include test plan and test sample set development manual and automatic testing then the maintenance part it includes further development or modification of the software application expanding its functionality according to the customer need So this is about the porting thank you so much take care